Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Before we get into the video, make sure to subscribe to my channel um, if you're not already. Now, you guys may be wondering why am I in World Zero? You know, I don't, I don't really play Roblox itself, but I've been getting a lot of comments on um, how to create kind of like this uh, World Zero uh, rig that you uh, have here, as you can see. So I'm going to go ahead and click accept here to go into the uh, character creation menu. As you can see, it has a custom rig and a lot of people have been asking me uh, lately how you actually make these now if i go ahead and go to hairstyle and remove the hair as you can see this is the head shape now when creating these kind of models you want to get like reference images and stuff like that obviously for now i'm just going to go ahead and snipping tool this and just grab the the head now you can go ahead and save this image or whatever as one of your reference images before we get into the video i'd like to point out that i do have a discord community uh server if you're interested in joining the links are in the description we've just hit 700 members um you know if you want to throw me some suggestions or show off your creations and stuff like that we host competitions every now and then as well so if you're interested go ahead and join up links are in the description now, once you've got all your reference images while you're in here, another thing to note is the eyes are separate from the actual head. So this makes the, the head actually a lot easier to make. And so is the mouth. So these are kind of just PNG images that you just put on top of the uh, head. So to get the rest of the reference images of the body and stuff like that, I'm going to go ahead and just click done. I'm not going to bother customizing it. I'm just going to click uh, accept. I'm just going to play. Okay, so now that I'm in game, I'm going to go ahead and move my egg head uh, over here somewhere just so I can grab reference images. I recommend you guys, you guys do this too. So just go in a corner and then just use snipping tool and just grab references of, so you get a, a reference of the shape of the body and stuff like that. Okay, so once you've got your reference images, go ahead and place them like this roughly. Uh, so you kind of, I'm going to make the head first. Now, bear in mind, I'm not going to be bothered about topology in this uh, video. It's going to be all about uh, getting the actual shape uh, and structure of the actual body. So this may not be as optimized as you can get it, but, you know, that's up down to you to, you know, uh, mess with the vertices and all that kind of stuff and make it better. I'm just going to show you how to get the, the shape, basically. Okay, so to get started with the head, I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, hide all these reference images I'm just gonna select them and press H I'm gonna go ahead and enable my keys as well so you can see them on the bottom right here and basically to get started with the head I'm gonna lock onto the x-axis here I'm going to add mesh plane and then I'm just gonna delete these three vertices and just use this one I'm just going to pick it up and essentially you want to place it anywhere on the edge of the head and just press E to extrude and just get the rough shape of the head. Now the better your reference image is, the better shape you're going to get overall I think. Obviously mine isn't that accurate so the head shape is going to be probably be a bit weird. But um, once you shade smooth it's going to look fine anyway so I wouldn't worry about it too much. As you can see, once you've done that, the uh, the edges should be like a rough outline of the actual head. Now, if you know Blender and you know topology and stuff, you're probably going to freak out um, when I show you this method uh, because it's not uh, really ideal to make heads, but this just so you get the shape, like I said. So the first thing I want to do is I want to extrude it to the right. Now, obviously, we before we do that we want to mirror it so we're going to add a modifier mirror there we go so mirrors on the other side and I'm go ahead I'm going to go ahead and press alt and h to bring back my reference image I'm going to hide this and these and now we're going to go ahead and get the the rough uh, shape of the front of the head basically okay so I'm going to lock into the y axis as you can see we have the rough outline of the head make sure it's centered and all that kind of stuff 
Uh, it doesn't have to be, but it's easier to edit with the uh, reference image. And then I'm just going to extrude out like this and then resize down and then extrude again and then extrude again. Now you're going to kind of get a basic shape that's going to look more like a helmet or something. And now you just play around with the vertices. As you can see, the nose is the only thing that really sticks out. So that should be the only thing that's kind of pointing out. So if I make sure you enable clipping as well. And then you kind of just bring these vertices in like so. And now once you've got this kind of like a basic shape here, uh, you want to just press A to select all of it, face shade smooth. And as you can see, you basically have the shape of the head. I'd recommend fixing this part really, because uh, it's just not going to be that good um, in terms of like texturing and stuff like that. But I'll let you guys fix that in your own time. Um, but yeah, once you get the basic shape of the head, you can kind of make sure you uh, enable proportional editing and then just kind of just bring the uh, overall shape of the head out. Also a mistake I made here is these uh, reference images aren't like the, uh, the same size of the head. So obviously as I'm following along with this, the head shape goes uh, really weird. So you can just bring it back down to a normalish shape. And as you can see, this is basically the shape of the head. Once you're uh, done with the head, the rest is pretty much a lot simpler, except for maybe the hands and the feet. Um, you can kind of just go about and add a cylinder, probably uh, use, I'd say 12 vertices since you're smoothing it out. And then you can kind of just uh, get the actual shape of the neck and all that kind of stuff. Make sure all of it is shade smooth. Um, just so you get that world zero kind of look to it. And then you kind of just make the neck like this, just by using a simple cylinder. And then you can con continue with the uh, torso and arms and legs. I'm gonna speed through this part, just uh, because it's gonna, this video is gonna be really long if I don't. Okay, so to end off this video, I'm going to explain a few little things, uh, key parts of uh, this um, rig essentially. Bear in mind, this is extremely basic. It took me about 15 minutes to make this. I guarantee the original maker of that model spent a few hours on it. Um, but yeah, I, I wouldn't really recommend throwing this into a game as it is. I can give the link for this model if you want. But it's very basic and the topology is very bad because I made it for the sake of the tutorial and the hands uh, just look like a bit of a, a ragdoll really. Um, but the main premise of these kind of models is when you create a uh, an arm or a leg, uh, the edges are smooth. Since this was made when, um, when skin meshing wasn't a thing, so they uh, add a cylinder. Uh, I'll rotate this. Let's say this is the leg or the arm. As you can see, they're split into different sections and you can see that the uh, the actual, uh, the top part of the leg is separate from the bottom part of the leg. So to do this, they kind of just uh, select this face, for example, press control B to bevel and then use the mouse wheel to add extra loop cuts. 
and then it kind of just makes it smoother like this so when they connect they connect in a in a smoother kind of a way if that makes sense obviously you're gonna need to spend a lot more time on it and uh, put in a lot more effort in but yeah that's the main premise of it but yeah that's gonna be about it for this video um, obviously the outcome isn't identical to the actual world zero rig but it's essentially all you need really um, with it, you can easily get the same result with ju just some minor um, adjustments to this actual uh, model itself you've got the head shape you've got the overall kind of body shape and you just go out and add amendments later on but yeah that's gonna be it for this video if you guys enjoyed make sure to subscribe to my channel uh, and I'll see you in the next one peace